Hi folks, in this video, we will actually see how to do a model analysis on a wing. For the inputs of your dimensions and other inputs, I will actually use your ANSYS help program. In your ANSYS help, go to search option, type wing, click your 9.1, you will actually end up seeing a help problem which is actually model analysis of a wing. In this, he is actually given four set of points which are on a aerofoil including a origin and the length of the wing is actually given as 10. It is also given the Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio and your density. I will be using this input to actually do your model analysis of a wing. Preferences, structural, say ok, preprocessor, element type, add element or delete, add it, go to solid, Brick 8 node 45 is the element I will be using to actually do a model analysis of a thing. And your solid does not take any real constants, so I will directly jump off your metal properties. Metal models, structural, linear, elastic, isentropic. The X modulus with the answers I specified is 38 E3 and your Poisson ratio is 0.3. Say OK and density that it has specified is 8.3 E minus 5. Say OK and close it. Now to model the wing, go to model create key points. So you can actually see you have 1, 2, 3, 4 set of points A, B, C, D, E, and A. I'll actually model these. Uh, 5 sets of points and draw a spline through B, C, D, E and A and a straight line through A and B and actually create an area by these 2 lines and extrude it normally to this area to actually have the wing. So, first of all creating the key points origin and the next point is 2, 0 and the third point is 2, 3, point, point 2 and the uh, fourth point is 1.9,0.45 and the next point is 1,0.25 this is the last point ok ok so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points actually so to construct the airfoil I will go to lines, plane, 3 key points I will select 2, 3, 4, 5 and your 1 key point say ok and to create the line between 1 and 2 I will use a straight line option. So this is your outline of your aerofoil. Now to create area about this line go to create areas arbitrary by lines and select these two lines and say ok. So I have the area. I will go to isometric view the plot area. So now to actually have a wing, which will actually, so you can do it by extruding this area normally to this plane at a distance of 10. To do so, get into operate, extrude areas along normal, select the area, say ok and the extrusion length is 10, say ok, so you have the wing. Now you need to mesh the wing. To mesh actually the wing, you can actually do a volume mesh, but it does not go good. What I will do is, I will actually mesh an area and sweep this mesh across the volume. But solid, but your solid 45 takes only meshes the volume, it does not mesh the area. You can use plain 45 element type to actually mesh the area and then extrude this mesh along the volume. But taking plain 45, as you forget it uh, to delete it, it will actually take part in the calculation and your answers may go wrong. So, I actually use a particular type of element type which actually helps us in meshing the area and which actually does not take part in the solution that is you can go to not solve mesh 200 say ok and change the mesh 200 options to uh, quad 4 node and that is because we will actually be using hexagonal mesh say ok close and you can go to mesh 
Next tool, set lines and select all the lines. Say OK and give the edge, edge uh, length to be 0.1 and say OK. And I'll actually set the attributes to mesh 200. Say OK and uh, entities of your meshing to be areas, quad, free, mesh. I'll actually mesh the, uh, the other extreme of the uh, other extreme side of your aerofoil and say OK. You can see that you'll actually have a mesh. Now, what you can do is you can actually uh, set your attributes to solid 45 and change your entities to volume, hexagon, and change it to sweep. sweep and select the whole volume and say OK. So, you have the total wing mesh and that too with a nice a square mesh. So, as per you know that. To actually do a model analysis, there is no need of applying any loads. It is, the model need to be only constrained. So I'll go to constrain it. I'll go to loads, apply structural displacement on nodes, and go to box selection. Say OK, and select the sorry, box, and select the extreme node. Say OK and the switch by all degrees of freedom. Now to do the model analysis, go to solution, analysis type, new analysis, go to model, say OK, analysis options, give the mode, uh, mode to extract to be in um, your wish, it would be the value of your wish, but I'll be giving 5, 5 and the range of the frequency to start and end i'll leave it to answers keeping them zero i say okay now to solve it go to solve current ls say okay the solution is done to actually plot the results then get into general course cluster go to read results by pick you have five set of modes actually um, taken and their concerned frequencies can actually click any one of it and say read, close it off, go to plot results, nodal solution, and deform vector, say OK. You can, you can see the deformation of it. So, this is a one type of mode extracted. You can actually animate it by going into plot controls, animate, mode shape, and say OK. You can see the most like, mode that uh, the mode extracted is actually showing the animated figure. I'll actually speed it up. So this is the this is the way it's actually deformed. You can actually plot the other modes also. Go to read results by pick. I'll pick up the last one. So read close plot results nodal solution deformed. Okay, and you can go to plot control animate mode shape and say okay. So this would be one type of a deformation. So this is how you'll actually do a model analysis on a thing. Until next video, bye.